What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. Now, this is a complicated situation that we've been in, right? Understanding inflation, understanding how what's happening with the government, what's happening with crypto and, you know, the stock market and investments and just how businesses are willing to invest versus, um, you know, retail investors. It, it's insane the, the way that we're, we're looking at all of this because um, we have various things that could happen and it's all based on how people react to those things. Um, we've had situations where we've seen, um, inflation or CPI data, you know, decrease through over time, right? You know, month over month, over month, over month, nine straight months, we've seen it, you know, decrease. And we've seen, you know, interest rates that have gone up as well in order to, you know, decrease that inflation. And we've seen that consistently happen, whether it was, um, you know, 50, um, 0.5%, um, or, you know, 0.25%, whatever it is, we've seen, um, those increases happen and how it has affected the market. Some were positive, some were negative. Now, a lot of people are thinking that this time around, what we are going to see today um, is going to create more negativity because of the fact that we have a, a potential hike or the thought of already having a hike there. <clears throat> now, I wanted to get into this because it's not necessarily 100% that you're going to see this happen on a, a negative note, right? We already know that there's going to be a, a hike. So it may not be on more of that negative tip that we're going to see this, um, you know, flow that route. <clears throat> so anyways, before we get into this, I want to talk about crypto market. I want to talk about the, the rate hikes and where things can go. It doesn't mean that it absolutely will happen this way, but it's always a possibility. So guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, those links are also down below. And um, don't forget about my other channels across YouTube. I have a golf channel. I have a reaction channel, which I think we're going to turn into a podcast channel with like my, my brothers and stuff. That would be really fun to be able to record one podcast a week and just you know, chat it up on the things that happen or interesting things. It could be something, you know, crazy that happened in the news and just have our perspective on it um, and just have a simple like podcast because I want to create something with them and just, you know, you know, uh, just chat with them and, you know, have a daily or a weekly discussion. Um, even though we have like group chats and stuff like that, I want to be able to um, do that as well. So let me know if you're interested in that. It won't really, really, it won't really, really, it won't be about like finance or anything unless something crazy comes up. Um, but we can definitely chat it up about uh, a lot of things. So anyways, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's dive into the detail for today, which is surrounding the, the rate hikes, right? We have articles out here saying you know, the Fed is likely to uh, hike the rates and people are aware that they're going to still um, you know, hike up the rates, but then also hinting at a pause in this tightening cycle, meaning that you may not see any more rate hikes for a little bit, meaning that, you know, we are getting very, very close to where we should be. <clears throat> now, with this being said and saying that there's going to be, you know, a 0.25% uh, rate hike there, and then we're going to see some sort of tightening throughout it, which we are going to get that information uh, 2 p.m., um, Eastern. So yeah, I will release this at like 1pm and you'll see all the different detail or where I stand with it before that ends up releasing instead of after. Um, but I'm recording this at 11am just to let you know. But honestly, what I'm thinking is that yes, we have the negativity behind understanding that there is a, a rate hike, even though we've had nine straight months of decreased inflation. I know that um, people don't want anyone to uh or anything to happen to the these rates because it doesn't make sense right we've been decreasing from 9.1 down to five percent and now we'll probably be at four percent in the next um uh, cpi data um release maybe we'll be closer to that and then who's to say we won't be at three percent the next time so people are like do we really need any more rate hikes we need them to start easing up on that and decreasing and i understand and that creates negativity however with all with the rate hikes that have been happening, that's kind of the reason why we have seen this continue, continued decrease in inflation, in my opinion, right? And I think they're trying to get everything back to a form of normalcy. And then when it gets back to a form of normalcy, that's when you see the pausing. So honestly, 
that's giving me the thought that they think this is going to get down to a 3%, maybe even higher 2%, you know, inflation rate, which sort of gets us back to normal rather than being at 9.1% or 7% or 6%. Um, so um, it makes me think about it. And I'm like, could this be a positive while everybody else is like, oh, this could be a negative. And, you know, the crypto market right now is also looking um, negative right now down by 1% at a uh, $1.17 trillion market cap, Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, all of these things that are down to a lower level. While people are believing that this may be insanely negative, um, we might be seeing more of a the opposite happen when that does take place. Understand this, right? If we, right now, we are going to see the CPI data that comes out for this month based on prior month without a another rate hike, right? Meaning that we could get down to 4% from 5%. Um, that's a four percentage point, maybe even lower than that. I don't know where expectations will be, but I can't wait to see it. Um, then we have the rate hike, which they're going to do right? Now it ends up adding to that, right? If it's a 1% decrease with the the uh, rate hike and everything or without the rate hike right there um, or more, how much is it going to affect when we do see that rate hike um, added in there? And now we're going to see, you know, maybe a 3% or higher 2% um, CPI data that comes out for the next month, not um, this month, but maybe for um, June, but for the CPI data for May. <clears throat> meaning that we're back to a normal form of inflation, which creates uh, a positive impact on the market, will get us back to normal a little bit. And then also they're going to pause on what they're doing with these, with these rate hikes, whether they start to ease on that as well. <clears throat> um, that's to be determined, but we're going to see that inflation is back to normal. That's a positive, that's more bullish momentum towards it. Um, it still is, still does have a negative side of it, understanding that we're still, we still are uh, hiking up these rates and maybe we start easing up on that eventually. But in my mind, it creates more of a positive look on it. It could create more bullish momentum knowing that um, we're going to be pausing, right? We're going to be stopping, um, you know, these rate hikes, maybe even dialing it back as well at some points. Um so that's really my thoughts. I think the crypto market could see some more bullish momentum, but honestly, it does depend on how you and everybody else reacts to it. Uh, I see it as more of a positive move. I'm not making any buys right now, um, but I don't see it as uh, insanely negative. That's why I'm, I'm making this video talking about how it could be something that's positive. It could uh, have the crypto market explode because of the thought that we're back to normal. In, in at least one area. And then we have to find a way to get back to normal in the other area. And like I said, it's all depending on how people react to it. The market is not based on what happens, but how people react to it. And, you know, I think people will find a way to react positive, whether that is today or it's something that comes in the next, um, by the end of the week. But I think people will start to see it for what it actually is. And it's something that could be bullish in my opinion. But again, it's up to you. It's up to the next person and the person next to them. So anyways, guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Let me know what you think about this and how you feel it's going to be. But um, I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.